Hey, welcome to another Tech Talk brought to you by Frontier Precision. Um, we're going to show you um, with the recent announcement of the 100% attachment program from Trimble um, Advanced Positioning, providing Centerpoint RTX to Trimble R12i receivers, R780s, R580s, and R750s. We thought it would be appropriate to show you how to build a survey style and uh, a survey style correctly to be able to augment um, with Centerpoint R RTX. Centerpoint RTX can be provided to you either using uh, a North America beam using space based augmentation. That's from SV, so from a geostationary satellite. It can also be provided to you using cellular um, corrections around the world. And you have to build the survey style, so let's show you how to do that. So real fast, I'm gonna to go to menu, drop over to settings, and go over to survey styles. Traditionally, uh, Trimble has provided you a survey style called RTK with Trimble Access. It's probably the best survey style just to copy that and edit that for uh, your purposes. So I'm going to highlight RTK. So it's highlighted and I'll hit copy. And we're going to call this survey style RTX, excuse me, RTX IP. Return and accept. So this style will be able to use RTX using cellular or internet. Um, so your device either has to have a SIM card or it would also have to have a, like a MiFi providing data to the controller. I'm gonna highlight and edit that style. And then under Rover options, I'm gonna hit edit. And then I'm gonna drop down under the broadcast format and I'm going to change this to RTX internet. Make sure the rest of the information, the antenna, the me measurement method the satellites, RTX is a multi-constellation correction source. So um, that's also a, a very favorable thing. And then um, hit accept. Under rover data link, I'm gonna make an edit on that. And it says internet connection or correction source. The GNS correction source, if I hit the right arrow, I don't have a GNSS contact currently built for RTX IP, not a problem, I'll just hit new. I'm just going to drop over here and call this RTX IP, enter. And all you'll need to do is slide the slider from where it says use RTX internet from no to yes, and make sure your mount point name is called RTX IP store, and then accept. So now in my survey style, my rover data link will use the GNSS correction source RTX IP. There's no need to prompt because we're just purely building this survey style to use that and only that correction source. Under the GNS internet source, I'm gonna hit the right arrow and choose controller internet and then accept. And again, just make sure that your device either has have built-in SIM or using some type of hotspot. And when there's no need to prompt for that internet source either, hit accept. And now I'll hit store. So we built that survey style correctly. And then now I'm going to copy that one and, and build it for the use of space-based augmentation or using SV. So I'll highlight that and hit copy. And we'll call that one RTX space SV, enter, and then hit accept. And now we'll need to edit that survey style by hitting edit. And again, go over to Rover options. And now notice Rover data link is still there. And I'll explain that once I change this to uh, RTX SV, the Rover data link will go away. So I'm gonna hit edit on the Rover options change the broadcast format from RTX internet to RTX SV. And then now I'll just confirm my information is correct. 
And again, because RTX is a multi-consolation correction source, turn on uh, your multi, uh, turn on the rest of the satellites and hit accept. And then now you notice that the rover data link went away. I'm gonna hit store and then hit escape. So now that we've built those survey styles, I wanna demonstrate how you can utilize this Trimble 100% attachment program that's been complimentary for 12 months, which is Centerpoint RTX. If I go over to menu and then measure, I have those two new survey styles that I could utilize. If I go and choose RTX SV and measure points, you'll notice that my globe showed up and then it went away and then a satellite appeared. And if I was to move myself over to here and just get set up, you'll see that I'm tracking 29 satellites. And if I click on this space, that little uh, satellite symbol, which is my correction source, it'll show you that my solution type is autonomous. It's not been converged yet. It's now starting to get a, a correction from the RTX North American beam. My correction age is floating between four to eight seconds. And then you see the precision start to drop down to an acceptable format. In North America, it takes two minutes for fast convergence. And after two minutes, you notice that it says RTX plus IMU and I now have a green checkbox on the precision statements. I also, if I click the satellite icon, it will tell me that I have converged, yes now, on that North American beam. So um, where that satellite, that geostationary satellite is, de is depending on your latitude and your placement in the United States. If you wanted to know where it's at, if you click on that satellite symbol, you'll see that there's RTX showing on the sky plot. But if I move over to the list form, I'm able to drop all the way down to the bottom. And in Idaho, I can see that the RTX satellite is at 158 and at a 37 degree elevation. That's how you can use RTX over SV and now I'm gonna escape out of this. I'm gonna hit measure and end that GNSS survey. I'm gonna keep my receiver up. And now I'm going to show you how you can utilize RTX over IP by simply changing and going to measure and using the style that we created called RTX over IP and measure points. You can see I'm establishing a connection. The satellite icon goes away it switches back to a globe and it starts spinning with a green checkbox. And you can see that fast, um, RTX plus IMU with great horizontal and vertical precisions. So some people ask, what's the preferred method, IP or SV? I would say that if you're in a cellular rich environment, use RTX over IP. Um, it's fast and then you'll get corrections even if you happen to go by uh, buildings or trees that would block that North American beam satellite. If you're, um, if you're out in the middle of nowhere and there's no cellular, uh, then you can always fall back to RTX SV. Thank you for watching this Tech Talk on RTX Centerpoint RTX and how to utilize both SV and IP corrections and just remember how you measure matters.